I believe in the future of agriculture with a faith born, not of words, but of deeds, achievements won by the present and past generations of agriculture, in the promise of better days through better ways. FFA prepares its members for the future by stressing career development and offering classes that teach the specifics of job interviews, agricultural based careers, and animal sciences. I teach three classes here at Clements High School floral design, small animal management, and veterinary medicine. Freshman year, I was in principles of ag. Last year, I was in welding. SAEs, or animal raising projects, allow members to use what they've been taught in real life situations. This animal that you're raising depends on you to breathe, to eat, um, for water. It lives because of you. I have a lot of like busy, a lot of late nights and then early mornings. It's something always like getting an animal you're just like it's like a new puppy kind of you, know, you just you get so happy and then you just want to pet it and like take so many pictures I don't care win or lose like they did their best but I wasn't there for the money or the sale I was there for the experience so pretty much you gain such an attachment to this animal and then all of a sudden it's taken away and it's not like it's going to a, to another family or home it's going to the slaughterhouse and so just you feel such a loss because you raised this animal from a baby and then it's being ripped away from you. I was heartbroken. At first I was really really upset because you had to say goodbye to a steer that you have for a year. It's like a pet almost but in the long run I knew how good of an experience it was for me and how much it impacted my life. Along with animal raising, the FFA encourages individuality in its members by helping them evolve into strong, confident leaders. In the FFA, we've been able to make really good friends and meet a whole bunch of new people, and that has boosted my confidence. I was a whole lot more shy my freshman year. I didn't really talk to anyone. I feel that I've become a much stronger leader, and I've gained a lot of uh, personal confidence. I say my self-confidence increased significantly after I joined FFA. Trustworthiness and working with others and um, honesty, like how important it was to everyday life, really helped me a lot in my own personal life also. Even though it supports individuality, the FFA also develops teamwork. It's a nice feeling to be a part of a team especially as good as the one I'm on. Where it's strong leaders who work together to achieve greatness. Leadership Development Events, or LDEs, put members in situations that allow them to show their abilities in decision-making, public speaking, and their knowledge of agriculture and the FFA. They are separated into team events, such as chapter conducting, ag advocacy, radio broadcasting, and the quiz team, and individual events including creed speaking and job interview. At competitions, teams from different schools fight for the top two positions to move on to the next competition. But with success also come sacrifices. At competitions, some walk away with pride, while others do not. I feel like my individual growth and leadership really helped me uh, in college and in the future for when I try to get a career. The leadership skills that I develop and uh, the confidence in myself that the uh, FFA has given me would, is definitely going to help me in the future. At Clements High School, I was very involved in FFA. I did pretty much everything you could do. But altogether, my leadership responsibilities 
um, have given me the self-confidence and speaking abilities that help me in my daily life here as a teacher now. I can definitely see myself possibly following a career in agriculture. I will be becoming an ag teacher and I will be continuing along with the FFA, just on a different side of it. I mean, there's actually a lot of scholarships for FFA. Yeah, I know they have the scholarship points, so I'm gonna help use those to help me get some money for scholarships. You apply to like their scholarships, and like there's just like the fair has a scholarship. Like there's just so many scholarships you can get. But at the heart of the FFA the are the local the chapters. The they are run by the ACT teachers, known as the advisors, and six officers. Opportunities to run for office are given at local chapters, districts, areas, state, and national levels. My advisors for the FFA are Mrs. Hamilton and Mr. Clemstein. Being one of the FFA advisors here at Clements High School, we have the unique opportunity to see our students grow and develop over the course of their high school experience. I can go to them for advice, I can tell them absolutely anything, and I know that they will be there for me. And if they weren't the advisors, I really don't think I'd be in ag at all. I want to be an officer. I want to be a role model for the other FFA members. FFA, and it's just they're fun to be around. You can literally go and talk about anything. Wouldn't be in FFA if it weren't for some of my friends who are officers. Members of the FFA travel, compete, cry, and celebrate with each other. Kindness is always present, and friends are just around the corner. From morning until night, members work and strive towards greatness. The FFA is awesome, fun, amazing, but most importantly, we are family, new family, family, definitely family.